New at 5, we have a cute alert for you. The Newport <laughs> News SPCA is full of puppies today. That's right. They took in 18 puppies from overcrowded shelters in southern Georgia. Ten of your side's Walter Hildebrand reports their trip to Virginia saved the animals' lives. It's hard to believe that with a face like this, it'd be hard to find a home. But it was much worse than that. Sadly, these dogs were all slated for euthanasia at the shelters where they had been located. In. Not here. These pups come from the southern part of Georgia. Overcrowding at their shelters meant a slim chance for survival. But an animal rescue group named Susie's Friends, with the help of an animal transport group called the Freedom Riders, brought them up to the Peninsula SPCA in hopes of finding them a home. They came in about 5 o'clock yesterday evening after having been on the road all day. Naturally, everyone was dog tired today, but those yawns quickly turned to wagging tails. This is the kind of thing that the Peninsula SPCA was hoping to get more involved in when we made our transition to being an adoption guarantee or no kill shelter. 18 puppies in all made the trip, ranging in ages from eight weeks to eight months. Given a second chance at life and a first chance of becoming a new best friend. Groups like um, the Freedom Riders and groups like Peninsula SPCA and other shelters want to do whatever we can to help by reaching out to these to these folks down there and bringing their puppies up here where there are there are people who want to adopt them. As you see from our, our these beautiful pups, you know, there's not a single one of them here that won't make a wonderful pet for some family. At the Peninsula SPCA in Newport News, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side. Well, we know you're wondering. Some of the puppies will be available for adoption at the SPCA on J. Clyde Morris Boulevard starting tomorrow morning. All wagging their tails, hoping they go <laughs> fast.